Today, we're taking a look at UPDF, a great PDF solution for all platforms and files. Now, with UPDF, you can create, edit, and read all of your PDFs on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. And this makes it a great alternative to Adobe Acrobat, and one license grants you access to all of the different app versions. Now, full disclosure, before we get started, this video is sponsored by UPDF, and they've asked me to showcase the app to you guys. Now, as I said, it's available on all platforms, and while we're focusing on the Windows version today, it's got the same features across all of those platforms. So, first of all, you can see when we open up the software, it is easy and intuitive. You can open files with the menu, or you can drag and drop them into the application. So, we're going to start off by opening a PDF. Now, this is a train ticket from a few weeks ago, and of course, we can view it and read it as well as print it. Now, thanks to UPDF, there's also much more we can do here. For a start, this isn't an editable PDF, but we can edit this as much as we need to. Now, over on the right hand side, we've got an option for OCR or optical character recognition. And while we do get some customizable options here, we can simply click Perform OCR, select where we want to save this new document. We've now got an editable PDF where we can search on all of the text. I can select the name and change it to whatever I like. Not only that, but it keeps the same font and style, so it looks like it was always there. I can move the text around, resize it, I can change it. And this is the same for every piece of text on the PDF file. You can use the edit function to edit text, you can edit images, and you can even add, change, or remove watermarks as well. Also, if there's an image you want to save, you can also extract it from the PDF and save it wherever you want. Now, for instance, if I just wanted to save this QR code, I can pull that from the document and save the image on my computer. Next up, if I open another PDF, I've got a random fun fact sheet here from an investment. I'm going to take a look at some of the other features. Now, we've got the comment option on the left hand side, and you can use this to do all sorts of things, whether it's notes for yourself or notes for someone else. So, on here, we can underline certain words if maybe you are providing corrections to people. You can add sticky notes on the top of the PDF if you wanted to make a note for someone else to follow. For instance, change the color of this title. Now, on the lines and the sticky notes, we can also customize it within these, and we can change the colors to our liking. I can cross through items that I don't want on the page, and I can even add a text box next to it with a comment. You can add stamps in one click, and you can even customize them. So, you could have a stamp for approved and rejected, or even a stamp with your signature to easily sign documents. And you can also just grab the pen tool and draw directly on the document. When it comes to customizations, you can pretty much do anything you need to a PDF. And I like that the tools are all in a sensible place, so it makes them easy to find and use, even if you're a brand new user to the application. Now, that's not all we get with UPDF, and it's also quite versatile when it comes to dealing with your files. Of course, we covered the OCR earlier, and you can use this to convert a non editable PDF to something you can search for words on. All the text that was previously just an image is now text, so this is probably one of the most useful features. We can also save the PDF document as a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, a PowerPoint presentation, and many, many more as you see in the list here. You can also encrypt your PDFs with password protection and even set permissions for things like edits, document opening, printing, page extraction, and even content copying. These tools could be pretty useful in a workplace setting where you've got multiple members in a team and they need different access levels to the file. You can also combine multiple PDFs into a single file. So, this could be good if you've got a scanner and it's saving the pages one by one. Now, we've got a share button on the right hand side, and this lets you easily share a document with others. And you can provide a shareable link and even set an expiry date for that link. And then you can also share via email straight from the UPDF application. We've got some great organization options on the left hand side. And we can easily reorganize the PDF page order with a simple drag and drop. We've also got options to insert pages, replace them, split them, extract them, or even rotate. We've also got a crop tool if you want to make some adjustments to the page spacing. Under page tools, we can add in a watermark to all of the pages. We can also add a background if you wanted your logo or something across the page in the background. And then we can also create a header and footer for all of the pages. In each step, I found that the tools were very easy to use, even for a first time user. And overall, I found they work very well. Now, when saving PDFs, you can also choose to reduce the file sizes, as well as flatten the PDF if you've made an editable one, but you don't want people editing. Now, I think that's pretty much all of the features covered that I can think of. But as you can see, if you work with PDFs, then this is a very versatile application. 
It covers pretty much all of the real world use scenarios that I can think of. And as I said, it's available for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. And best of all, there's currently a 53% off offer where you can get access to it on all of the platforms on top of 10 gigabytes of cloud storage. This is currently on offer for just $34.99 a year. And to be fair, that's a pretty reasonable price. Of course, I've placed a link to the deal down in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out now. But if there's anything I've missed or you've got any questions at all about UPDF, then just ask in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.